Hello everyone and welcome to DIY Ideas. So since we have Halloween in just a couple of days, I wanted to show you how you can make really cool coasters in no time. So let's go. So here is what we're gonna need for today. So fabric scissors, pins, and thread. Here I have black and white. You can use any other color you want. Then a pencil here or something to mark with a pen for fabric or anything else. And here you can use a scalpel or a cutter, depending on what you have. And then I have here some regular school glue that we're going to use. And you're going to see in a moment what we're going to need it for as well. So you can use anything that you already have at home. Then I have here some cookie molds that we're going to use in any shape and form that you like. And I have here some fabric markers that I'm going to use in different colors. So this time, of course, some Halloween colors. Now, as far as the shape of your coaster goes, you can see here that I have a glass in my hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. I can make a circular um, shaped coaster or a regular one, as you can see in the background here. You can see how I tried something out. So that's basically what we're gonna do with um, some paper. Then we're gonna use cardboard to, with, and the cutter to um, cut it out and then felt, of course. Make sure you use some thicker felt this time for the coaster. If you have something thinner, make sure you work in multiple layers. So first we're just going to do some shapes and different things that we want to try out. And you see here I have a regular glass, so that's the size that I want to use as well. So you can do it, of course, rectangular or in any other shape and size that you'd like, but I orient myself in mugs and glasses that you have at home. So you see here I drew some ghosts. So the smaller the pieces, the more complicated it's going to be, of course. Or you can make something a little bit bigger, like um, this maple leaf here, or a pumpkin too. So it's way easier if you choose something a little bit bigger. Of course, this depends on the colors as well, what you're gonna use and what you're gonna choose. So let's start with the pumpkin first. So here is the pumpkin now, and you can see the colors in the background that I'm gonna use a little bit of brown all the way in the back. Then I have here some orange and the little section on top I'm gonna do with green. So we're gonna start with the brown. We're gonna do the circle, so the entire shape of the coaster, and then we're gonna do another layer that's basically gonna be just the background without the pumpkin. So we're gonna do just the outer part of the pumpkin. Then we're gonna do the pumpkin in the orange and the top section in green. And then we're gonna put it all together
So now that we put everything together and that we made sure it fits, we can glue them all together and make sure that they really stay put. So for that, you're going to need your glue, any kind that you want to use. So we're going to basically do the background and the um, other parts together and we're going to glue them all together. Or another thing that you can do is basically do a stitch over here. Um, so what I want to do or what I could do is the zigzag stitch here, basically everywhere where um, different kind of felt meets with one another. And optionally, since we do have a pumpkin here, we could do the little lines to make it look more like a pumpkin. Of course, you can use a fabric pen to do the same thing. So this really depends on what you want to do. So I'm going to try the stitches and show you. So here you can see the finished coaster. So you see that I used a small zigzag stitch for everything and I used it for the outer edges as well as the pumpkin itself. Also, if you decided to do stitches, I want to show you the back side so you're going to be able to see them. So um, I don't mind, I actually think it looks cute, but if you don't want stitches on the back, a fabric pen might be a better option for you. So this was the basic version. Now I want to show you how you can make it kind of in a 3D effect. So stay tuned for that. So in this case, we're not going to have just the one layer. Instead, we're going to have two layers of fabric. So we're going to have kind of a 3D look. You see here, I have a jack-o'-lantern that I'm going to use. So you can draw any shape and um, face that you'd like. So you see here I have a couple of pieces that I'm going to work on. So I have the eyebrows, I have the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So I'm going to cut this out, of course, and those are going to be the parts that pop out, so the black sections. And then the background and the rest of the jack-o'-lantern is going to be in orange. So since I need two layers, I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to draw the circle on here and then I'm just going to cut it out. So it's going to be super easy to do. It's just going to be in a little bit different style than what we did a moment ago. So if you have some thicker felt, then you might not need two layers. So just make sure it's not too thin, but also not too thick because otherwise you're going to have a little bit of an issue with your stitches. So we're going to put our little stencil on here and we're going to do a circle, actually two since we folded it in half. Then I'm going to move on to the next step and that's the black section. So I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to put it all together.
So now that we cut everything out and put it together, you can see if you're satisfied with the way it looks, adjust if you need to, and then we can get to the next step. So as always, you can do it with glue or you can stitch it all together. So this time I'm not going to be doing a zigzag stitch, instead I'm going to be doing a straight stitch and I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do that and I think it's going to look really, really good. So we're going to need an outer stitch as well and then connect the um, little black parts onto its base. So let's do that. So you guys, here are our two coasters we did together and three more that I decided to try out. So um, with this little bubble that looks like a ghost, I basically did the same thing as with the rest. I just cut it out and left a little bit of a tail here and did a zigzag stitch. With the bat here, I actually did a straight stitch and I did it in one layer as you can see. So you have just the one outer stitch this way. And then this last one, I actually drew with my fabric pen. So it's gonna stay on here even when I wash it. And you see here, I did just a couple of zigzag stitches, but they are really small and narrow this time. So you might not be able to see them as well. So yeah, these are our coasters. You can use them for anything you like. And I hope you guys enjoy today's project. So let me know if you did by shooting a thumbs up. You can also post a comment in the comment section below. See you next time. Bye.